Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab, and on the screen now is why Xbox is the console equivalent of soiled underwear. You know what I hate? I hate gaming journalists who claim to be impartial but are so obviously biased towards one company. Not me. I don't try to hide the fact that I think Xbox sucks massive dick. But I have a very good reason to think that because Microsoft doesn't give a shit about game ownership or game preservation. So let's get to the point straight away. I used to be into Xbox. I had the OG Xbox and then I got the 360. I really did enjoy Xbox Live Arcade and I bought a fair few games for the service. After a while though, I found the games on PS3 more appealing and the Xbox 360 got forgotten and late stuck on eBay. A few years later I bought another Xbox 360 because it was 20 quid second hand. Clearly someone had just bought a PlayStation and didn't need this old piece of shit. I took it home, put my old account details in and downloaded all the live arcade games again. It was at this point I realised the machine was fucking garbage. So because it was a new machine I'd put my account into, I transferred my game licenses to the new machine so Microsoft knew that this was now my prime primary 360 console. Then I looked at my game screen and all my live arcade games were there. Great, but what happens if I pull out the Ethernet lead and disconnect from Xbox Live? Despite me transferring the licenses to this new machine, the second I disconnect from the network, all my games are back to trials. Fuck you. PlayStation doesn't do this. Each digital game you buy has an unlimited usage value attached to it. Even the free PlayStation Plus games are date valued so you can play them without an internet connection. On my Xbox, the games are locked up with fucking DRM, which means that I can't play them unless I'm connected online. Plus, Microsoft already sent the original Xbox offline forever, so how long until they kill 360 support? So there's your always on DRM should you ever need to swap consoles. That's bullshit. Guess what else is bullshit not even allowing you to play the games you paid for that's right here on my download list you can see i paid for double dragon the full game not a trial because they are listed as trials but the version i got for my history list is the trial version so maybe i can go to full game unlock and it will just give it to me right no bill gates has taken my money and used it to pay for cunts on the internet to tell everyone how great his cock tastes does playstation do this no even when games get delisted from the store if you bought it you can always download them again. Here's Afterburner Climax, delisted years ago. I can still download it right now. Same again with Outrun Arcade. Sega delisted this from the store after losing the Ferrari license, but I bought it so I can still download it. Even the fucking Wii lets me still download games I've bought. The fucking Wii! Remember the Microsoft XNA developer program where people could just publish their own games? I do, because I downloaded some mental Japanese games, then made a shit video about them on my junk channel. Well, I can't download download these games at all and they're totally and utterly gone forever. So that's always on DRM, not giving me access to a game I bought and nuking hundreds and hundreds of games from existence altogether. The last point I'm going to shit on Microsoft with is this, backwards compatibility. Xbox fans make a big song and dance about how great Microsoft are at supporting old games. Well guess what motherfucker, I checked the list to see if Grand Theft Auto Double Pack was supported and it was. I put each disc in the 360 and neither game worked. That's because it won't download the patch needed to run them now. I mean, what's going on here? I'm pretty sure Microsoft isn't running out of online server space, so what was the fucking point in cutting support for this? They're just cunts. Tom Warren is probably foaming at the mouth right now, and I'm sure people will point to Sony almost shutting down the PlayStation 3 store as a counterpoint. Well, you can shove that up your ass, because if you actually bothered to read their press release and not just the endless fake news clickbait that gets thrown around, then you would have seen that Sony committed to keeping people's paid games online even after the store shut down. So when Sony finally does shut the PS3 store down and you can no longer buy games for that platform, you'll still be able to download everything you've paid for. So that's it. Microsoft sucks balls, the Wii Shop channel still works, and Colt Eastwood has a stupid face. Thanks for watching, guys. A like, subscribe, and comment are very much appreciated. Plus, if you like what you saw, here are some links on the screen now to some of my other videos that I've made that you might like.